the boneheaded moments that occurred down at the boat ramp, and well, a little bit of everywhere on the water. Today, we're going to explore some of those moments, talk about what went wrong, what the cause was, and maybe what the solution is. Kind of like right here. Does my man need new tires, or is he not geared up right with the right vehicle for towing? But I want you guys to participate as well. Really simple. As many of you know, it's the year of giving, and today we are giving away a Drainplug Mafia tumbler. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the like button now, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment below, and we're going to pick a random comment, and somebody's going to win a tumbler. Now, of course, training situations always have the possibility of turning into a boneheaded moment. Now, I'm guessing they probably stuffed the bow into a wave by the fact the water coming over the camera, but I'm also curious what your thoughts are on this one because I'm wondering if my man didn't do that one on purpose. Now the next one's definitely a tough one because it's more of an opinion piece. I mean, this crew spent over a million dollars on the boat, but maybe they decided to save a few pennies and not get the upgraded charts to keep them out of the shallows. But let me know your opinions on this one. One thing's for sure, they probably need four new impellers on those motors. Nothing quite like runaway commercial vessels. There is a tugboat behind this boat with the lines coming off. It looks to me that this vessel was actually tied to that tug and somehow came free. When the tug came to a stop, the boat just kept on going and well, we get the accident we see here. Definitely a brave soul there on the May. As you can see, there's somebody actually standing in the bow of this boat right where the accident occurred. I probably would have been running the other way if it was me. Now, I don't know why, but every time I see this clip, I just want to start singing that song, Dumb Ways to Die, da na 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 but our guy's pretty stoked that he wound up landing it. And here in our next clip, man, this is a tough one to tell what's going on. I'm assuming they're trying to park the yacht at the slip right here just to the left because every other slip appears to be taken unless he was trying to turn this thing around, but man, they have got it all kinds of out of whack. The only thing that's throwing me off is typically you would see these guys try and back into a space and then pulling forward. Well, that might be a sign of something else, but still the concrete wall just took a pounding. The yacht took a pounding. A bad day for these guys, definitely gonna be a nice little insurance claim, not a good day to be Geico. But I'm guessing the wind and current got these guys and that's one of the big keys in boating guys, you've got to be careful and pay attention to the wind and current because when it gets its hands on you, it is really difficult to recover. This one is another one of those wind and current situations, but I'm also just guessing by the fact we have the sail up that this crew probably has lost a motor. So they're getting some assistance from these little type of tugboat kind of things here, trying to get them docked. But like I said, with that sail up, they've got no brakes, no reverse, and look out, <laughs> incoming, wind and current, not your friend. And it's really interesting, if you really go back and watch this clip again, you can see the moment where the wind caught them, the boat just went on tack, and man, they got sent flying. It all happened so fast, definitely don't think I would have recommended, even with a motor being out, trying to pull in on that sail, especially with the two boats here willing to assist, I would have probably tried to use one of those guys, but I may have stayed anchored out and waited for things to calm down because that wind is absolutely ripping and probably would have waited for a little better day if there was one forecast in the near future. Now, of course, if you want to watch some fun, there's plenty of fun to be had around the marinas, especially on windy days. Go down there and take a look, but still nothing tops the gold mine that is the boat ramp. That's right, you really want to see fun things happening, head down to the boat ramp and check it out. Now, really, there is a lot going on here, but this one's real simple. My man should have just spent the extra thousand dollars on the trailer. Now, just by having a trailer, that's not going to solve everybody's issue down at the boat ramp. Kind of like this situation here. We get asked this one a lot. How does that happen? Well, many of you guys know we film at multiple boat ramps around the country every single weekend, and we see this happen quite a bit. And it's always a different story. Sometimes the rear tires break free and they just slide back. Sometimes somebody forgets to put it in park. Other times somebody thinks they put it in park and they actually put it in reverse. But one of the ways you can try to avoid something like this happening is make sure you take your time at the ramp. Most of the time when I see stuff like this go on, it's because somebody for some reason is rushing it. Another thing you could possibly do, if you have somebody else who is not you doing this, take the few moments to train them how to correctly do it. It might save you a lot of headaches in the end. And speaking of headaches in the end, one big headache that can happen is the sweet, sweet weather. That's right, anytime you're heading out boating, don't commit to going out on a Saturday just because it's Saturday. You need to check the weather and make sure everything's gonna be okay before you just get out there and decide, well, we're gonna risk it anyway.
Checking the weather definitely may save you some additional headaches as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Barefoot Captain, Isadora Tantrika, Dennis Giannatis, Colt Smith, Terry Majane, Jeff Groves 5, Lance Irwin, and Josh CM 1990 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.